As you know, Bagua in Guyana, like Diwali, is not an Indian festival, a Hindu ceremony. It belongs to all of us. No matter what race, color, or religious persuasion, it is a Caribbean festival. You see, what we celebrate with the throwing of powder and abir is very simple and very beautiful. The white powder is for innocence and joy. The red and colored dye is for the new blood, the new spirit of life, the renewal of life. Goodness in the shape of Narasim, whom, as you all know, is an incarnation of our Lord Vishnu, has triumphed over evil. And love and harmony can return once more to our troubled community. In another shape, Lord Vishnu, as Krishna, says in the Gita, Kama Alpha Ardan Daulat He Kochna Sukhi Nahi Payega Sir Krota Ar Nasham Lega The pursuit of physical pleasures and wealth alone does not bring happiness, but envy and anger and violence. That is what Pagwa tells us. Now, Friend, he, he is already very merry. <laughs> but uh, I think that what he's trying to remind us of is the, uh, the ancient legends of the Puranas. The story of Prahalad, the violent Hiranya Kishapu, and Holika, the wicked Holika, his aunt, who tried to destroy him. But here in Mahaika, we do not celebrate the violence of, her, of Hirani Kishapu, or we do not burn Holika. But these are merely myths for dramatizing the message of Pagwa. Prahalad's soul was pure, like we say. But the ancient, it's the evil black heart, the one for killing. Why don't you let Pali start to speak? <laughs> no, no, no. Let him speak. We are all one family here, Hindu, Muslim, Christian. My friend, you seem to uh, think that Bagua is an excuse for this kind of behavior. Hmm? Let me tell you what Bagua is. <laughs> you see, we Indians will keep the culture pure. Not even this tribe. Jo admi burai sochtahe. He who thinks evil destroys himself. Destroy himself. <laughs> My friend, the old stories were not given to us to make us feel that like we are special. So, Prahlad and Holika, who... Holika was born! You know, you are a disgrace to the Hindu community. <laughs> mind and heart are confused. But by himself, he is nothing. 
It is only when we join him in his prejudice and violence and anger that he becomes dangerous. Then you see, he becomes a crowd shouting Apanjak and Black Power or some stupid political slogan with no meaning or understanding. That is when this young hooligan becomes important. But we must not answer violence with violence. But we must see it and discover it as a part of ourselves so and so disarm it. Otherwise, without that restraint and that compassion, we are animals. We are all animals. Animals. Yes.